Hey guys, welcome back to this new episode of Restoration with Vic. What I have on my table today are these super beat Air Jordan 1 Chicago's that need a lot of work. We're gonna go in using our three brush advancing alarm system and our detergent and get this shoe looking right. Once the clean is good to go, we're gonna do a lot of perp work on the uppers, remove the yellowing off the soles, repaint the red, black, and white leather, and remove the creasing off these toe boxes. We got some work, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do to get started is work on the right shoe for before and after purposes. Now we're going to go ahead and remove our laces and insole. Now that those are out the way, let's grab our adjustable rejuvenator shoe tree and adjust it to size. All prepped, ready to go. Let's grab our Colasso bowl with water and our four ounce bottle of solution and square two squirts. Two squirts. Now the first brush we're gonna be using is our soft bristle brush so we can start hammering the uppers. As you can see, this shoe is super disgusting, so we're gonna let the suds sit on the uppers for a little while longer so we can move on to the insides with the soft bristle brush. Inside of the shoe is good to go. While we're still using the soft bristle brush, let's go ahead and take care of this insole now. Insole is good. Let's move on to the next brush, which is our medium bristle. We'll use this brush to finish taking care of the uppers on this shoe. Uppers look good. Let's finish off this cleaning by moving on to the soles and using our stiff bristle brush. All right, this shoe's good to go. Before we put it in the washing machine, we gotta give the shoelace a quick pre-treatment. <laughs> okay, let's grab our sneaker laundry bag. Our shoe. Stick it in there. Insole. Lock it up to the washer. Time for the washing machine. Let's go ahead and put it inside. Let's not forget a full ounce of our rejuvenator advanced seal line detergent. Whenever you're washing a pair of shoes inside the washing machine, you gotta use cold water with a regular cycle. 
What's going on guys, Johnny Bubbles here, interrupting your broadcast real quick to tell you about a giveaway that we are having for a four ounce rebrush kit from Rejuvenated, guys. It's real simple. A couple weeks ago, I filmed the Sakai cleaning video where I cleaned like a bunch of nasty stuff off of the shoe. It was so bad, I had to shave my beard, guys, which is crazy, but I had to do it because I had mold smell all up in my beard. But anyways, the rules are real simple. Go back to that Sakai video and tell me well, it's actually, you gotta comment on this video, but go back to the Sky video and tell me the name that I named the little maggot. There was a little maggot on the shoe, or I think on the box, and I gave it a name. Go back, watch that video, find the name, and then come back to this video and leave a comment on this video. That's right, go over there to come back and comment here. The first person to do so will be the winner. So good luck guys, let's get back to Vic. We are back YouTube. We got the shoe at the washing machine, fully dried, ready to go. Thanks to our three brush advancing alarm system, this shoe turned out super good. Way better than I expected. The majority of the problem in the shoe that it was just super dirty and covered in grime and all different sorts of stuff. But there are still issues on the shoe. On the white leather and the red leather, there are scratches and scuffs all around that we gotta repaint. And we do got yellowing on the sole and creases. So let's move on with this restoration and remove the yellowing using Salon Care 40 and Ceram Wrap. To the sun. Yellowing is completely gone. These soles are back to white, ready to keep it moving with this restoration. The next step we're gonna focus on is some prep work. On the leather, there's a lot of deep scratches, specifically in this area right here and all around. We gotta smooth out those areas before we can paint it using some sandpaper. We'll start off using some 600 and then we'll work our way to 1500. All done with the sandpaper method, we got those areas super smooth. Now to finish the prep work, we gotta use acetone and cotton balls to finish wiping off the factory finish on the entire upper leather. All done with the prep work, let's move on to some taping. We'll be taping off everything but the white leather. Shoes fully taped up, let's go ahead and lay down our paint. We'll be using Jacquard's Opaque White with our Iwata airbrush. good to go, looks super factory. Now let's move on to the red. For this premix color, I used a few different colors. Red, fire red, a tiny bit of magenta, and scarlet red. For this color, we're gonna lay it down with an angular brush this time. 
All done laying down the paint. To complete this paint job, we gotta go outside and spray some Krylon matte finish. Okay YouTube, that's gonna bring us to an end on this restoration on these Air Jordan 1 Chicago's. This shoe cleaned up really nicely if you ask me. We use our three brush advanced take alarm system and our detergent to get the shoe fully cleaned up all around. Once the cleaning process was all done, we moved on to removing the yellowing off the soles using salon care for in the sun. Then for the uppers, we used the sandpaper method to get rid of all the scratches all around the leather. Then we finished the prep work using acetone and cotton balls to wipe off the factory finish. We taped it all off, repainted the white using the airbrush, then we custom mixed the red paint and laid it down with the paintbrush, then protected it all using some Krylon matte finish. Took some work, but this shoe turned out great. You can find all the stuff you see right here at Rejuvenator.com using our promo code in the description below. You guys, we're almost to a million subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Vic Almighty. I'll see you guys next Monday.